All right. Welcome to Journey in Entrepreneurship. This is Sunday Gardner, your online travel boss, and I am super excited to be bringing you another installment of uh, our women in their journey through entrepreneurship. All week we're coming to you live and we are discussing amazing women of color's journey through starting, launching, operating their own businesses where we are going to be giving tips, recommendations, and motivation throughout the week. Everyone's journey is different, and I know that through the power of these women's story, you're going to get those tips and recommendations and even motivation that you need to pursue not only what you are doing now, but also to help up-level your business. So if you like this, please do not forget to share. Go ahead and just look over to your friends, share this group out to your friends and family. But without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Juanita Daly. She is Chief Web Designer and Digital Architect. And we are so super excited to have you here today, Juanita. How are you doing today? I am doing great. Awesome. How are you doing? I am doing great. I am uh, wired today, so I'm glad to have you on. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so tell me the name of your business. Okay, so the name of my business is called Digital Empire Unleashed. And basically what I do um, at the core of it is I develop websites for small business owners and entrepreneurs. Um, and um, the websites are, you know, Pretty much anybody can put up a website these days, right? Yeah. Um, it's very easy to do. Um, you know, my background goes a little bit deeper than that because I was working in corporate America for, um, you know, over 10 years, actually over 15 years um, doing so uh, as a software engineer. So I got to, you know, get my hands in a whole bunch of stuff, developing systems from, you know, start to finish. Um, and I decided that, you know, with that skill set, um, I wanted to take that online. That's another story. We can kind of get into that later, but that's, that's Digital Empire Unleashed. Um, that's the core of it. And then, um, you know, I want to be able to help people to develop or to get to financial independence. So that's another part of, of the company. Well, that's great. So, uh, you know, I am also, a, you know, former corporate and also from a technology background. I used to do project management. So welcome fellow, fellow techie. Um, <laughs> I love to, you know, meet other techies who are in there. So tell me how long have you had your own business or you've been an entrepreneur? Um, well, Let's start with the entrepreneur part first, <laughs> because as we were talking about before um, we started this, um, I jumped into entrepreneurship because I wanted to, you know, microwave results, right? Get into yep. that and, you know, I'm going to make all this money. That's right. Easy. <laughs> easy. It's going to be on the beach. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's going to convert and get an apple. <laughs> that way, right? Um, you know, I found out later, and I, I was just really trying really, really hard, um, and, and I had some struggles with it. Um, I tried a lot of different things. So, you know, kind of been in and out of entrepreneurship for um, 10 years, um, and you'll have to, like, keep me on task because I'll just, like, wander <laughs> and be like, what was the, what was the question? But, <laughs> but um, yeah, for, for about 10 years is when I got into kind of in and out of entrepreneurship. And um, so here I am still today trying to, um, continuing to build, build my business. And it's a, it's a process. Yeah, it is. Always, always building. So, okay, so 10 years ago, you said, I'm going to do this. What was your motivator besides money? What was the motivator? for you to just like want, you know, jump into becoming an entrepreneur? Um, well, a big part of the motivator for me is that, you know, I saw, I worked for major um, insurance companies and major consulting companies. Um, and especially with the consulting part of it, I would see like, you know, the big dog, so to speak, um, where they would talk, be talking to these clients um, you know, to bring them on board. It's like, you know, we can build this for you. And, and so they're talking this and making the sale, right? And 
you know, me as a software engineer, I'm on the front line of it. And it's like, okay, so you're charging all this money, right? And then I get this much. <laughs> <laughs> And I laugh because, uh, you know, I was in IT consulting as well. And you're like, really? You're not doing any of the work. So why is it that you're getting this much? <laughs> right. So that was, that was a big part of it. Um, and even a, even a bigger part of it was, you know, I had, um, I had my daughter um, and she was very active in a mm. lot of different stuff. And I, you know, wanted to be available for yeah. all of it. And they just had, I, I love my job. You know, I love being a software engineer, but too much control was in the hands of somebody else as far as my, as far as my time. Why, you know, why do I have to ask if I could go to my daughter's soccer game or, you know, ice That's cream, right. whatever, you know, so that was a big part of it as well. It's like, mm -mm, no. Yeah, and I think I think I think as many of us, and, and I actually had a conversation with a friend of mine about like the way millennials think, and they don't think about being constrained to jobs as we do. I don't know how old you are, but for me, I'm 46, and you know we were taught go out there, go get a corporate job, make a lot of money, and you're just now slave to this corporate job. You don't have any freedom to go to your kids' events. You're working, you know, nine to nine most of the time. It's never nine to five. And so freedom is definitely for me a big one as well. So I can totally understand that. Um, so let's talk about when you first started or even now, depending on where you are in your journey, what were some of, the, what were two or three big things that you struggled with um, or lessons learned that you would like to relay to our audience? Okay. Um, well, when I first started, I, like I said, I was chasing the money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and the, the best way that I saw to get the quickest results was network marketing. Mm -hmm. So I tried network marketing for, for years and I went through a lot of different um, industries. You know, I did something with, I think, dental. There was some networking, uh, network marketing for dental. There was one for medical. Um, there was... Uh, travel. Mm -hmm. um, what else did I do? Um, gosh, I don't remember. There, but there's probably about four or five different yeah. ones that I tried. That I tried. Um, and, and even with Avon, and, and, and I made the most money with Avon, believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I... Well, Avon has some good products, that's why. Us, they have some good products. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I, I had to like let that go because I was buying a lot of the products. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh because I'm not really good when it comes to like trying to sell makeup or whatever. I tried Mary Kay too for a while, but I was the one buying it all. So I could never like get rid of the inventory because I used it all. It was horrible. Yes. yes. But, uh, you know, trying all these different things, you know, I, the reason why I tried all these different things is because I wasn't clear on exactly yeah. what it was that I wanted to do. Yeah. You know, I, my, my main driver was just, I need to make a lot of money. I want to make a lot of money. I want to make it fast. And where can I do that? And so if I wasn't making it in one place, then it's like, okay, well, that's not working. Well, I'm going to go. So I'm going to go to the next thing. Yeah. You yeah. know, and, and it took a while for me to figure out that, you know what? Okay, yeah, you're making a little bit of money. But the reason why it's not working is because, you're not clear on exactly what it is that you want to do. Yeah. Um, so that 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 was uh, one of the uh, the struggles for me. Another one. Um, let's see what else. Let me look at my notes. <laughs> um, I worked for a long, long time, up until about I guess about three or four years ago, um, in isolation. Mm. So when you're working by yourself or working from home, yep. you know you're sitting in front of your computer or whatever, you don't know what you don't know, okay? Uh, especially if it's just you and you're working and you're, you're wearing all these different hats, right? You're trying to wear all these different hats. Um, and so I found myself, myself isolated. I didn't know what I needed. You know, I, I wrote out tons and tons of goals and stuff that I, that I wanted to do, but 
we don't know everything. That's right. We're smart. We're smart, right? Yes. <laughs> but we don't know everything. So <clears throat> another struggle for me was isolation and, and moving myself away from that and, and realizing that, you know, you can't do it all. You need to have other people around you to help you, you know, whether that's, you know, a coach, a mentor, an accountability partner, you know, you, you need to have, you don't need to do it by yourself. Yep. Um, so and that's a good one, Juanita, because I think, you know, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm really technical and I, and, and, and with that technicalness, I really think I'm super smart, which means I think that I can do everything. And so when I started the same way, I was like, oh, I don't need to hire anybody. I can do it. No, I can do that. Oh yeah, you need this. Oh, I can do it. Right. So I ended up wearing all these hats and burning out really quick. So um, and not being successful in any one genre because I was all over the place. It was really pretty sad. <laughs> it was pretty yes, sad. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, okay, so those are really great um, struggles because I think that a lot of people can identify with those um, items as well as they're starting their businesses or even if they're, they've started and they're trying to get to the next level and they're hitting a, a roadblock, they may think, well, why can't I get there? It's because they probably need to release some of that stuff. Mm -hmm. So... Now thinking about where you are in your business, what are some tips and recommendations that you would have for somebody who's thinking about launching or maybe has hit a roadblock? Mm -hmm. Well, as I said before, with one of, the, one of the challenges is that you need to get crystal clear on what it is that you want to do. Um, just to tell you a little bit of story of how I, I became clear on what I want to do. And, and, and don't get me wrong, you can get crystal clear, but, but your journey, you're getting clearer and clearer and clearer. That's so true. Through your process. So it took, it took a, uh, a coach to kind of bring that out, like what I was exactly trying to do. So I actually went to a mastermind of um, one of my one of my good friends, um, and we sat in this mastermind, and this is this is a story also because I had a different name for my business. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, my business was called Daily Wealth, and so my last name is spelled as D A I L E L E Y. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and so I kind of did a pun on that. Yeah, okay. Daily Wealth, right? And so I'm sitting in this mastermind and. Um, you know, we were writing down our business names and, and people were supposed to say, well, what, what's your business about based on your business name? Mm -hmm. So when they got to me, they were like, oh, do you do um, financial planning? Yeah. And you're like, no. <laughs> uh, no, no. No. Why would you even think that? <laughs> no, right? And he's like, well, you know, that name kind of, to us, it kind of means like, you know. You yeah, know. that's what I would have assumed as well. And I was like, no, I'm actually, I said, what I actually want to do is um, I want to help people to achieve financial independence because I don't believe that, you know, we were put here to struggle. Everybody should be successful, you know, and shouldn't have to, to wear um, shackles, you know, yeah. financial chains, so to speak, um, you know, worried about, you know, well, how I'm going to pay this and how, you know, we shouldn't yeah. be in that position. So I said, that's what I really want to do. And I started naming out, I said, to me, that means multiple streams of income. Mm -hmm. And then they were like, oh, okay, financial independence. Okay. But yeah, we really don't think that, um, your name you know, is indicative of that. <laughs> we don't think that daily wealth, like, you know, kind of fits with that. And I'm like, oh, okay. So, you know, we kind of did some brainstorming and, um, my friend, who was also a coach uh, to me at the time, she said, you know what? The reason why you are struggling is because you're not trying to build a business. You're trying to build an empire. And that's why you're struggling. You, you're trying to build all these different arms of stuff, which is fine, but you, you need to name those out and then focus on one part of the puzzle and build it out that way. So um, you know, we thought about it and I was like, online, okay, empire. And so then I was like, okay, digital empire. Yeah. And it was like unleashed. Yes. You know, yeah, I like that. Type of thing. So. <laughs> yeah, that's a really great story on the background of your name. I love that. Yeah. And I, I think that clarity, I just want to touch a little bit on that clarity piece because um, I think that people mistake clarity by saying, 
well, I want to make money. I want to make extra money. I want to do this, right? And I think similarly as you, when I started, I wanted to make more money. I wanted to not be at a ceiling from just what I was doing, but that not really being Clarity is like a, it's a misnomer because people are like, well, what the hell does that mean? What does clarity mean? Well, it really means what is it that you want to do and how do you want to service people? That's kind of how I mean, I, I take it now is how specifically will you help people achieve a particular objective? Um, and I think for me, that took, that took like three years for me to figure it out. It took me a long time to figure out how I wanted to show up and how it's going to help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, and another tip, um, let's see, I have several, so let me just pick. Awesome. <laughs> um, um, okay, so I touched on, you know, having someone in your corner, hire a yeah. coach, you know, a mentor. And for me, um, okay, I have a coach, but, you know, sometimes when you have a coach, especially like when you're starting off your business, you don't really have the funds to have a coach um, where you can have a coach one-on-one. -on -one. So you might have to do, you know, more like the group type stuff. So, you know, you can do that. But in addition to that, you know, you need to have somebody that's going to hold you accountable. So I have an accountability partner as well, mm -hmm. where we, we meet once a week. I mean, I, I even do this now, you know, we meet once a week and it's like, okay, you know, what, what are we going to do this week? And, and, and we hold each other accountable for that. So that's another thing. That's a great idea. My last tip um, is you have to be willing to invest in your business. You know, a lot of times you hear, oh, you can start a business for free. You can start. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. Oh, young whippersnapper, how wrong you are. <laughs> you can start a business for free, okay? Um, but you know what? Even oh, Ava. Wow. Even a requires requires like ten dollars. I think I don't know what it is today, but <laughs> yeah. you know, you can start a business for free, but you cannot uh, maintain or build up a business for free. Okay, yeah. you have to invest in your business, and investing in your business means investing in yourself. You know, your own personal development, investing in systems such as a website, investing in marketing. Marketing is a big one, okay, because you can have, you know, all of the great, you know, content and solutions in the world, but if people don't see it, you know, you don't really have a business. Right. Right? That's right. That's right. That, you know, I uh, just personally today just went through this, uh, you know, was meeting with somebody and they were talking about, you know, I'm broke and I don't have any money, which I, I really think is a mentality. I get not having money and being in a financial situation, but the reality is just like you said, you can't start a business without investing in yourself. And I always say you're either going to invest money, you're going to either invest your time, your money, and oftentimes you have to do both, <laughs> right, to be successful. Um, and so that's really, that's a great tip for people to know is that if you don't have the knowledge, you need to invest in getting that knowledge and then also having someone to help you stay accountable. I love that. Yes. All right. Did, were those all the tips that you've got? Um, I always hate to cut uh, people I, off. I, I do have one more. Awesome. Okay. Okay. And that is, is don't, don't spend all of your time when you're building your business. Don't spend all of your time in setup mode. Oh my gosh. That's a great one. <laughs> or, you know, sitting at your computer, you know, working on stuff and not talking to people and meeting your customers and getting to know them. I think that is such a great one. Yeah. 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 You have to, you might have all these different things that you want to put into place. Okay. But you need to basically put something in place, you know, take action to implement it, market it, you know, get that going and then move on to the next thing. I mean, you can, you can kind of uh, draft out different things, but don't stay there. Don't stay in one spot, you know, just, I mean, I'm, well, let me reverse that. Stay in that spot after you kind of outline what it is that you want to do and then implement, take action to get that going. So. I think that's really good. I have just a little mini story to complement what you said. When I first opened up our salon, I would spend hours in the office, like, you know, tweaking the website, posting stuff, 
all the while we have clients like coming in and I had people on the floor, but I wasn't out there on the floor. And that to me is the perfect example of what you should not do. You need to be interacting with people once you've done like the initial setup, getting out there, talking to people because we are the lifeline of our business. So the more you can get in front of your customers, the better it's going to be for you. Yeah. So that's a great one. I love that. All right. So let's talk about what do you have in terms of getting, you know, if there's anyone in our community who is in need of a website, which I know many of them are, tell us how we get in contact with you, how we get um, engaged, what, what, how do we work with you? Um, okay. So you can go to my website at www.digitalempireunleashed.com. If you want to schedule an appointment, there is a link that says schedule consultation, so you can do that. Um, and then also, um, when I touched on making sure that you invest in your business, um, you know, some of us, some of us may be working a nine to five. Some people might not be working a nine to five. So this I, this offer is actually for both people. Um, you need to be able to invest in your business. Okay. Um, and so I've done a lot of uh, research and actually working for different um, online side hustles, I like to call them. And I call them side hustles is because that's what you need. That's how you need to think of it. It's not their jobs. OK, but it's not it's not like a corporate job where, you know, you're going to have something for an extended uh, period of time. Um, you're going to have a steady, steady, steady paycheck. I mean, you could, but I wouldn't want you to think of it that way. Um, but anyway, what my offer is, is I'm offering um, an ebook where it's going to tell you 51 of the best online um, side hustles um, that I have either worked or I've done some research to kind of verify, you know, if they're legitimate. Now, there are some really, really good ones out there, and you can use these side hustles to, you know, help to invest in your, in your business. I've been able to um, invest in the business, you know, pay for some marketing, pay off some bills, do a little bit of travel, um, but I don't want you also to go into it with the wrong expectations. They, they are side hustles. Yeah, you're like, don't, like, don't, don't, don't get, like, brought in. Like, this is side hustle, extra money to help you so you can invest in your larger dream and your larger vision. I think that's great. I think, I think, and, and inside of my community, there are a lot of people, I would say probably 80% of the people are working in full-time job um, mm -hmm. while they're trying to start their travel business. Um, and, you know, sometimes money is a constraint for people. And so have the ability to bring in some sort of income through a side hustle, I think is a great idea. So that's great. That's awesome. So those links are going to be available for you all. Um, and Juanita, do you want to share anything else with our, our crew before we go? Um, I wish you guys all the success. I am always available um, as I know, Sunday is probably always available, too, to answer any questions with, uh, for you as you're on your journey for entrepreneurship. And um, I just wish everybody success. Go get them. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was great talking to you today.